Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can embed Flash video into Word and PowerPoint files using Adobe Acrobat. Acrobat can embed Flash video with either the .flv or .f4v file extension. Note that you must have Adobe Flash Player installed and enabled for Internet Explorer in order for this to work. When embedding Flash video, Acrobat will allow you to select player controls to use within the video. To embed Flash video into a slide in PowerPoint or a document in Word 2013-2010, place the insertion mark at the location in either where you want the video to be embedded. Then click the Embed Flash button that appears in the Flash button group on the Acrobat tab in the ribbon within PowerPoint or Word 2013-2010. Then in the Insert Flash dialog box, click the Browse button to open an Insert Flash dialog box which you use to navigate to and select the Flash video to embed. After you've selected it, click the Open button to see it being played back in the preview area within the Insert Flash dialog box. You will also see the file location and name shown in the file name field at the top of the dialog box. You can use the buttons in the player controls at the bottom of the preview to play the video. You can click the stop button in the controls to stop the preview playback on a certain frame in the video. If selected, you can also use the timeline scrubber in the playback controls to move through the frames within the video. You can click the Set Poster Image from Current Frame button that appears within the dialog box in order to set the currently selected frame as the poster image for the video within the slide or document. A poster image is the image that is shown in the slide or document before a user clicks the play button to play the actual video. To change the set of video playback controls used with the video, you can click the Skin drop-down to select the name of the playback control skin to use from the drop-down menu that appears. The name of each one lets you know which features it contains. You can also see the buttons available for the selected skin within the preview window where you can try them out for yourself. After making your selections within the Insert Flash dialog box, click the OK button to insert the Flash video into your slide or document. You can then click the embedded video object to select it and resize it or move it if needed. Now note that, if using PowerPoint, Acrobat will create a folder within the same folder as the presentation file, named the exact same thing as the presentation file. It will create an Assets folder within this folder into which it will place copies of the Flash videos and player control skins that you have selected. Ensure that you do not move this folder or change the contents of this folder until you have created the embedded PDF file, as Acrobat will need to use this linked folder material to create the PDF. Likewise, you should not move the PowerPoint presentation after creating a linked Flash video, or you may need to re-embed the content. When you're ready to create the PDFs with the embedded Flash video, Click the Create PDF button in the Create Adobe PDF button group on the Acrobat tab in the ribbon within PowerPoint or Word. Then use the Save Adobe PDF File As dialog box to select the location to which to save the PDF file and give it a name. Then click the Save button to create the PDF with the embedded Flash video. You can then send the PDF to users so that they can view the Flash video embedded within the PDF file.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.